Hey guys, right, first of all, thank you for being so patient. Um, I've been poorly with COVID, long, long symptoms, unfortunately. Um, I didn't know I had COVID. Um, I must have had, had it a while ago. Uh, I've ended up to a point where I had to go to hospital. Uh, I couldn't breathe properly. I was having horrendous chain, chest pains, which still happen now and again. Um, but no energy at all. Uh, all my all my joints absolutely killing me my knees my ankles my elbows my wrists everything just throbbing all day uh, to a point where I just I couldn't even move out the chair um, it was really bad at, at one point I, I've, I thought I was gonna die um, seriously uh, you know Sarah was worried I was having a bit of a panic attack I honestly I thought I was gonna die I, generally hands up I honestly thought I was going to die um, but that was three weeks ago. Um, I'm feeling a bit better at the minute. Uh, but last week I was feeling a lot better. And then I've, this week I've kind of gone a little bit backwards. All my pains and my joints have come back. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, I've been sleeping every day. Uh, about now, actually. So it's a bit weird that I'm recording this uh, awake. Because every day since for the last three weeks, I've probably been napping for an hour, two hours, three hours at a time. So I don't know where the energy's come from today. But what I thought I'd do is record a video um, while I've got some energy and actually give you some, uh, just some content really. And what I did was decided on Twitter to ask non-Leicester fans what their thoughts are of Leicester City as a whole in the Premier League. Uh, and I tweeted out, non-Leicester City fans, do you see Leicester as a top side in the Premier League? And anything else to add, drop your comment below. And this, these were some of the replies that we got. Now, we have Man United fans here. We've got Crystal Palace fans in the, this, these chats, in these comments, replies. Chelsea fans. I've got a couple of Arsenal fans here. The list goes on. West Ham, there's Newcastle. I'll read a few of them out. Uh, enjoy the video and please smash a like on the video. I'm hoping to get back as soon as possible. But as I say, I'm just kind of taking advantage today on feeling a little bit more energized today uh, by doing this so enjoy right so first of all a big shout out to cop on podcast um, you want to go and check those out it's a liverpool podcast i've done some content with them before you're totally a top side if james justin and fafana were fit and if harvey barnes rediscovers his pre-injury form you'd be outsiders outsiders for the title in my opinion as it stands, top four is entirely realistic. You play great attacking football and many teams will dread playing you. Um, I think he's spot on with the obviously James Justin and Fafana. Unfortunately, losing Fafana uh, till 2022 with the, the break of his fibula and the uh, dislocation of his ankle uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, during that pre-season which was disgusting um i can't but i can't believe that happened to be fair and if, you know three nil up against Vill villarreal uh, and he does that is is ridiculous um but yeah harvey barnes hopefully is going to find his form because before his injury he was outstanding to be honest with you and uh, i think he would have gone to the euros give or take uh, obviously there's a lot of players in that position for england but um I think he probably would have been a shout for the Euros if he hadn't have got that injury. But let's hope that we can keep our players fit this season. Big shout out to Cop on Podcast there. Um, another one for you here, 2SLY4SA says, Top side, yes, top six for sure, but just short of challenging for top four. I don't think it's a quality of side thing that's old holding you back though. It's more of a mentality thing. But maybe last year's cup triumph might just be the catalyst. Man United fan, by the way. So there you go. He's, he's suggesting that it's maybe a mental thing of not maybe reaching the Champions League final, uh, the Champions League tournaments for the last two seasons. It could be a mental thing. But winning that cup, maybe winning to the Community Shield as well, could just spur us on uh, to uh, to go and get Champions League football. Uh, Kieran. KS1 TV says they are a top side. They act like a club that wants to progress and become one of the big boys. I don't know if we want to become one of the big boys, to be honest with you. I don't think that's the Leicester way. I think we just want to stay as we are, but we do want to break that, that mould of, of an established big six. We kind of want to be 
a part of it, but don't want to be one of them, if that makes sense. <coughs> a good friend of the channel, Douglas Horn. 100% you are a top side with a very good manager and owner who couldn't be more closer to club and fans and players alike. I'm already starting to feel a little bit like I'm running out of gas here. Um, yeah, a very good manager, which we have got. Um, Brendan has proved that now, uh, winning a domestic trophy. Uh, I suppose Community Shield suppose is a trophy, depending on who you ask and who you are as a fan and who you support. Um, Douglas, hope you're well, my, my friend. Uh, uh, David De Gea 10 uh, at et. 815 says, yes, it is a step down from Madison to go to Arsenal. As of now, things can change. A Man United fan there uh, with a little bit of banter towards Arsenal. Um, I've already discussed this on a podcast um, about Madison. I think it's a sideways move for him. The only thing really w would go for him would be his back pocket. He'd get probably almost double his wage at Arsenal, potentially. But would it be, as a footballer, would it be a, a step up? I don't think so. Not at this point. Arsenal are a massive side. Historically, uh, you know, <laughs> successful. But right now, no. Uh, Charlie Ackroyd says, absolutely one of the top six clubs in the league. Um, who's Charlie? Charlie is a... Not sure who he supports, Charlie, there. Uh, H underscore RTM90. A Man United fan, yes, but definitely might be a little weak to get top four. But I see a great uh, Europa League run, and you guys might go for the final. Um, Man United fan there, supporting Leicester to the final of the Europa League. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Just to get another trophy, but this time a European trophy. I know it's not the Champions League, but it's the next best thing, especially for a club like Leicester that are on there, that you know we are pushing for for that top six um, established elite level. Uh, Katie GSB out, obviously a West Ham fan. Um, a lot of G GSB outs in the uh, the West Ham football Twitter community. They want their owners out, which is mad to think. You know, I, we'd never say that about our owners at all. And uh, speaking of owners, yes, a top side with brilliant owners that care about the club, properly run football club. Says Katie. Um, Alan. 26 the real underscore deal 26 says yes only one of seven teams to win the league plus the current fa cup and the community shield holders add to that the 90s league cups as well don't forget leicester have done the lot in england now um he's speaking of the the, the league cup that we won the coca-cola cup 97 and the uh the Wormington cup 2000 era um we have won all domestic cups in England. The FA Cup, obviously this season, just gone. The Premier League in 2016. The Community Shield as well. We've won before 50 years ago and obviously won it recently at the weekend. Um, so we're at one of seven teams to win the whole lot, which is pretty sick if you think about it. Uh, GSB out. Brit in the mitt, definitely a team doing great business with a terrific manager. As a West Ham fan, I am envious in multiple aspects. Uh, ownership, management, recruitment, player quality and ambition. It can only be admired from Brit in the mitt. Um, there you go, a West, another West Ham fan there. Um, not jealous, but just a little... Uh, what's the word I could use? Not, not quite jealous. Uh, um... Jealous, <laughs> jealous of our ownership to theirs. Uh, two real uh, Tarek underscore uh, two or II says, of course you've replaced Arsenal as a top six side and even winning the trophies they've won the past few years. Says two real. I'd suggest probably replace Spurs, not Arsenal, but because Arsenal still win the FA Cup now and again. Um, they are the FA Cup. Um, elitists they've won it 15 16 times something stupid like that uh billy briggs 0102 says entertaining football top six finishes a well-run club and trophies it's what every fan wants a west ham fan uh, again bigging up the foxes it's what every fan wants you might have noticed that there's a plain uh, plaque because I haven't got round to obviously doing the member of the month, uh, member of the whatever it is that we do two weeks now, fortnight, star member of the, 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 the channel. 
I just haven't done it. I'm, abs I'm absolutely knackered to be honest with you now. Um, let's keep going now. Uh, to grind this out, but I've got absolutely no energy at all. I uh, really haven't. <sighs> GGMU1902. No, they're a small club punching mid table finish this season. So they go, not all. Not all fans of the Premier League and fans of big clubs like this Mr. Mark W of Man United think that Leicester are, a, 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 you know, becoming a, a top club. They think we're just punching and eventually it will fizzle out and we'll be a mid-table finish this season, says GGMU1902. Easy top five, though, says Benj. Uh, I don't know who he, he supports. Let's have a look. Who he supports? Hmm. I can't see who he would support. Benny Esther, Crystal Palace. It's a Crystal Palace fan. Crystal Palace fan saying Leicester are easily in the top five. Craig Moore, Mr. Craig Moore one says I see Leicester. I think he's a Man United fan. I see Leicester as a top six side. Tottenham and Arsenal have fallen away massively. Leicester have finished fifth two seasons in a row, just missing out on top four on both occasions. The club and the team is getting better every year. Just another Man United fan, um, apart from that last one that seemed to see uh, Leicester are progressing as this big side. Um, probably we probably are sort of taking advantage of Tottenham and Arsenal's slight fall away from you know that established. Uh, top finishing in the top six we kind of probably took advantage of that but I see what you're saying you know uh, just missing out on top four but hey ho you know we, we do seem to be getting better even though we're missing out on top four we're winning things that's the, that's the, the key here Leicester are winning things are on, on their way um, there's a few here um, West Ham fans um, Lydia uh, which is at uh, WHU Lydia says Yes, one of the best run clubs in the Prem. Curtis, a West Ham fan as well, one of the Irons there. Curtis Stevens, 16, says, well a run club, top away day too. Uh, enjoys coming for the away day at Leicester. Um, we're, a good, we're a set of fans here, to be honest with you. There's a couple of knobheads in most um, most clubs, to be honest with you. Um, me being one of them. No, I'm joking. Um, but you, you, at the end of the day, we're human. You know, it doesn't matter what clothes you wear and what badge you wear, there's humans and there's some horrible humans out there. Uh, you've only got to look at the uh, Ian Wright video that he posted about a couple of fans giving him racial abuse and uh, and Roy Keane as well, uh, giving him some racial abuse, even though our man manager is of a different descent to being English. But there you go. Uh, Billy Marshall there as well, a top five still. Luke Booth, well run club, but need a few more quality players to be a top side. I definitely think Rogers can do it. I think he's a Man United fan with that T-shirt on. And Joe, a Man United fan with the badge in his dis in his name, says Joe Busby Babes. Leicester are a top six side currently. They have the better project than Everton, Spurs, and Arsenal, etc. Another big elite club fan, um, seeing Leicester as a top six side. Ricky Forrest, um, West Ham fan, great club run perfectly, very jealous, West Ham fan, although we only finished a place behind you, your owners are the dream. Yeah, they did, don't forget, they have got European football coming up. Uh, we had a great season, but I think you're far better place to break the top four than we are. Good players, manager, owners, and a clear plan, transfer strategy. Um, re well respected in the transfer strategy in the Premier League by these fans too have you noticed we sell a player for 80 million or we sell a player for maybe 100 million if Madison does decide to to go Arsenal that would be the price that you'll have to go for um, that we end up buying players from nowhere and turn them into stars we are the we, we are the team that seems to be the one that, that does this that, that signs players from nowhere and turns them into mega stars that other big teams want to buy don't want to be a selling club but if we can keep doing that making lots of profit and still replacing those players then we haven't got much to worry about that's the that's the key thing here look at Pat Sandako's coming in I think he's going to be a breakout star this season I really do <sighs> um 
Satish Padala says, They are a very good side. I like them. They are a top six side. A Man United fan. West Ham fan Jason Bundle uh, at Jason Jason 07977 says, Yes, I see them as a top six side. What Leicester has achieved in the last six years is just incredible. Uh, and Stricky says, Lots of quality, but the mentality has to be questioned after two failed Champions League run-ins from favourable positions. Could say they're a top six club now. Says Stricky. Not sure who he supports, to be honest. James O'Hara. Um, he uh, James O'Hara. I think is a United fan. I think I look it from the club inside and out. The owners have the club as it should be run. Brilliant facilities, brilliant management, and brilliant club. See, even fans are noticing that our facilities as well. Don't forget, we've had this massive training complex at Seagrave. Uh, it's cost us over a hundred mil to, to, you know, to, to build. But uh, with the net spend and then the profit that we've, we've probably potentially made from players being sold over the last few years, um, you know, Harry Maguire, Riyad Mahrez, Kante, drink water, to, to, so to speak. <coughs> Oh gosh, um, two hundred odd million. Yeah, so you know, investing the club is what it's doing, and I'm sure you've seen that we we are expanding the ground as well. That is definitely happening. You know, more news is coming through as we speak. So fans are noticing this. You know, Harry Kane, NFL FPL, said, oh, Carrie Kane, Carrie Hayne. Goodness me, he, his name's threw me off. Top half, absolutely. I feel like Leicester will finish in that fourth, eighth place territory that is really tight. Seems like a fun club to support at the moment. And he's not wrong. It is a fun club to support. I love I love supporting Leicester because it's a ride. It's a roller coaster. It's not just boring, win everything, boring, you know. Like the Man City's buying players at £100 million, Jack Grealish, you know, uh, and, and just bossing the leagues. And just, it's just God, it's got to be so boring. It has to be so boring. Um to win everything on a constant basis without challenge um, I'm hoping that, that the league isn't run away again by Man City I really really hope because it's boring um, Richard64 GSB out Richard GSB out says absolutely run professionally from top to bottom fantastic owners that back the manager and let him manage that's another uh, thing that some owners don't let is the, the managers run the the, the the squad, you know, um, the money spent and all that and, and whatnot and the, and the just just the backing of the owners to the managers, all you need. And you've seen that time and time again with uh, Iowat, uh, our our owner, Kun Top Iowat. And the relationship he has with Brendan Rodgers is, is phenomenal. In fact, he's got a relationship with all the players you see him, regardless of, of whenever it is, you see him with the players, celebrating you know, the trophy, or if you see him visiting the training complex, or if you see him in the stands, he's always sat there. Um, he's always at the games, never without a doubt. Uh, you can never doubt our owner. Fantastic scouting network. As a club, you're everything we are not. I would love to see Moyes working in a Leicester City environment here. Hashtag GSB out. It makes me sad that all these hashtag GSB outs. Um, I can't remember all their names. Their their owners. Is it Golden? Uh, I can't remember their names to be honest with you. It's just fr there's three of them anyway. The GSB. It's all their surnames. I can't remember their surnames off the top of my head. But that's what that means. If you didn't know. Um. <clears throat> yes. Don't look forward to Leicester away. Or Leicester at home, for that matter, says MUFC. So Man United fan not does not look forward to playing Leicester home or away. Um, definitely see them as more of a threat than Arsenal and Spurs now. Although Spurs seem to be onto something recruitment-wise. If they lose Kane, they'll go back another step. Leicester have been building for years now. No sign of them going away. Doing the right, doing it the right way too, says SFX at United SFX. It's a decent comment there. Um, it's just all love for Leicester. There's only the odd one that's just in my in my comments in my in this thread that, that are calling us out for maybe pushing or you know punching. Uh, Sutherland Sportscast says top four first eleven, mid table extended squad. But you are the role model of how to run a Premier League club properly, and you are now probably every neutral's fave EPL team. As a Newcastle fan, I am green with envy. And they're the team that I thought would be Leicester. I always thought Newcastle would be that side. 
um, from back in the day when Kevin Keegan was charging um, in charge and charging for the title. I thought it was going to be Newcastle that would be the, the, the club that would break that mould of the, the, the top six of, of the last 15 years, uh, well, 10 years. Um, yes, they've won the league, FA Cup and Community Shield in the last five years and have been fighting for top four consistency. You have to consider them as a top team in the Premier League, says Jamie Ferg, 90, with a Drogba picture, which means he must be a Chelsea fan. That's a Chelsea fan, by the way. Um, I've seen a lot of nasty Chelsea fans after the, 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 the uh, FA Cup final come into on, onto Twitter, but I've seen some nice guys as well. But, but this seems to be... Um, all love for, for Leicester um, really really amazing to see that fans uh, have taken Leicester on as not not their second club but but just to see them rise and, and be praised for it is, is great to see in, in all these replies <sighs> Filthy Turk says uh, in every respect tick table position and success tick recruitment tick how do you source such great talents and so cheap tick training ground is next level tick only relationships with the fans tick your club is everything that west ham is not the one thing we have over you is our fan base is the best but you're gonna say that because you've got your uh, your west ham tinted glasses on i think leicester's fan base are the best <laughs> nah it's it's it's, it's an opinion and it you can have it you can enjoy it. but thank you for the, the for the uh, the praise there to the club it's great to see uh, Nick Mang, uh, these look like Man United fans to me. Yes, until the final 10 games of the season, uh, mentioning that we drop out basically of the Champions League spots. But I think, uh, again, I think that's overlooked with the, the fitness of our players. <clears throat> United blog, C. Mm, no, but that's just because you don't have enough squad depth at the minute. When or if that improves, definitely more than any other outside the top four. And a defo top side and capable of doing great, but I'm not as scared to play you as I am most of the top six. It's R7 VS. I'm struggling here now. Right, a few more I'm going to have to cut, cut. Yes, the big six, as they are known, as has reshaped. With Leicester right in there, league winners. To FA Cup winners, great owner, great manager, shrewd in the transfer market. Leicester are 100% a top six team now and deserve to be mentioned in that bracket by pundits and media outlets. That's one thing that I don't think Leicester get is true uh, support from the media. I think the media is obsessed with these London-based clubs, your Manchester-based up north clubs as well, like Liverpool, you know, your Man United, Man City and your London base because that's that's where the big teams are and the big cities are I don't think they're interested in little old Leicester little old East Midlands city you know I just don't think that's that's their their way of doing things there's more to it than just I think it's where we're based not just on success um, and and uh, I've got a couple of quotes here as well. Um, well we'll show you these ones let's play this um, Dom says without a shadow of a doubt uh, he's a, uh, a West Ham fan and uh, he's part of rivalry aside um, with over 4,000 followers go and check uh, D-O-W-H-U underscore 995 out he's from rivalry aside and he says without a shadow of a doubt uh, George Westwood says top three easy another West Ham fan um, like City, I can't hate them. Quality teams. I don't know why you put us in the same bracket as, as, as City. GSB out PC says, top side and best run club in the Prem. Fourth and fifth finished this season. West Ham's carpet, another West Ham fan here, um, says, that he's got 2,000 followers, says, no doubt Leicester is the best upcoming household in the Premier League. Something I was hoping West Ham will achieve under a new ownership, but even our fan base has some kind of fetish for bad decisions. Fetish. It's all West Ham fans in this, isn't it? There's, there's far more here, West Ham, than anything other. Um, let's see what else we've got. Uh, Ryan says, definitely you've got a top team with a top coach in charge and we are run very well with ambitious owners who want to do well. Connor. Now, Connor's from the All for United 
uh, it's a massive thing I've just followed him as well uh, the guy who plays uh, tennis Man United fan uh, Mas Max Verstappen fan, head of content at All for United. Go and follow All for United. Go and check them out. I'm, a, in my opinion, Leicester have to be now considered one of the big six if they keep hold of the top players they have and keep recruiting the way they have been. There's no reason why they shouldn't be challenged top four every season. Another Man United fan, um, and, and I've got a big social following as well. Uh, so go and check him out and let's have a look at his comments. Um, ben says that we don't want to be called the so-called Big Six, which I just mentioned earlier. And James says 100% everything to, to do with the club is done right to the owners and staff. Big out James O'Hara again. It looks like he's a part of the All United to me. Uh, but, but there you go. Uh, what else we've got? Uh, their league's finished since Rodgers came in and their trophy cabinet def definitely warrants them being considered as one of the top clubs in the league. They're more of a right to being part of the Big Six than Spurs. <laughs> It's all love for Leicester. That's a Liverpool fan, by the way, Dylan the Kid. Uh, last one, and I think we're going to end it there. Indiana from the Football Terrace. Uh, come check it out. Uh, says... Uh, what does he say? Let's have a look. I can't read what he says. Let's have a look. One second. Uh, how Spurs are still called a top six side after the achievements of Leicester is pure madness. For me, Leicester are the top six side. So disrespectful to call Spurs one and not Leicester. That's Indiana. There you go, guys. There you go. So a few little uh, little comments from, from fans outside of Leicester fans talking to us on their feelings of what they think we are in the league, how we are, what we're doing, and where we're going what do you think to that it's pretty positive it's pretty positive um, I'm so sorry that I am all over the place with this I try my absolute best um, I'm hoping to do the content for the weekend for the, the Leicester Wolves game the opener for the Premier League um, I'm gonna use James with me uh, he's gonna carry it because I've just not got the energy to to do two and a half hours it's gonna be impossible but I'll try my very best. I'm going to edit this together and, and get this out. So please hit the likes. Let your thoughts on Leicester. If you're not supporting uh, Leicester City in my in my channel, please drop your comment in and let me know what your thoughts are on Leicester City in the Premier League. Are we turning into a top six team or are, are, are we already a top six team? Um, and if I've mentioned you in this video, say hi in the comments. Say hello. Uh, thank you, everyone. I shall see you very, very soon. Take care, everyone, and uh, all the best.